Uh, are you still looking for holiday flights or hotels, perhaps? Vicki Wynn says today is the day to shop, right, Vic? Good morning, Craig Chanel and Hoda. Consider this the Black Friday of travel. It is Travel Tuesday. It's here. It's the day airlines and travel agencies offer up some of their very best deals on your dream getaway. So whether you're going to stay domestic or you want to go overseas, I'll tell you how to make the very most of your travel bucks. That's next, right here on Today. He went is here with all of the details for us. Vicki, good morning. Good morning, Shana. I love the enthusiasm. A lot of us are still recovering from Thanksgiving, but get after it. Today is Travel Tuesday, and yes, you can expect deals up to 50% off of your dream getaway. If you haven't booked your holiday travels yet, it's not too late. Today is the day you want to get online or call a travel agent and take advantage of Travel Tuesday. Well, Vicki, what else can you do really to make sure you're actually getting a good deal? Yeah, this is key, right? You don't want to just jump on and impulse buy a deal today. Mm -hmm. So take a little time before you book anything and do some research. See how low or high that fare has been historically. Yeah. Google has a flight price tracker tool that will wow. help you do that. And also Hopper has this, you know, price freeze. So let's say you find a deal, you want to jump on it, mm -hmm. but you need to check yeah. on your schedule. Can you mm -hmm. really get away for those, you know, that period? You'll be able to lock in that price for two weeks. You can't oh, two weeks? Two weeks? Yeah. It's for up to two weeks from now, you get that same deal and you can square it away with your boss or your spouse or whoever. Cool. There's a little fee involved, right? There is a small fee. You don't get that back. It doesn't go towards the cost of your trip, but okay. it's worth it if you're not ready to just yeah. make the deal pull, pull today. The trigger. Okay, All right, cool. Vicki, yeah. good stuff. Thank you. All right, 743. Let's move on to Miss Dylan Dreyer. I see snow. Girl. Yeah, tough. Hi, everyone, and happy Tuesday. So glad you're with us. I'm Vicki Wynn. I'm Jacob Soberoff in for Morgan Radford, NBC News Daily. Welcome to NBC News Daily and welcome to you, Jacob. Good to have it's you. It's so good to be here. Good to see you guys, too. It's going to be fun. All right, so we are just two hours away from today's high-stakes World Cup match between the U.S. and Iran. It is a win-or-go-home game for the United States in the world's biggest sporting event. Yeah, it sure is. It has taken place against the backdrop of protests and political unrest. Here's NBC News foreign correspondent Megan Fitzgerald on the controversies clouding today. Messi, well, right now, 18 million people are at risk of severe weather. There's a line of storms moving moving east through the Mississippi and Tennessee River Valleys. And after dark, these storms could produce some dangerous tornadoes, very, very high winds and giant hail. NBC News meteorologist Bill Cairns joins us now with a look at the forecast. Where are we talking exactly, Bill? Uh, we're talking about the areas that... Are you thinking this is going to hit, that people really need to be aware? Yeah, so here's... So much good to see you. It is a sobering sign of hidden online dangers. Yeah, a cross-country catfishing scheme turns deadly in Riverside, California. NBC News national correspondent Gabe Gutierrez has more on what police are calling a warning sign for all parents. Gabe, thank you. We turn now to our CNBC Money Minute. Balenciaga is suing the production company behind its controversial spring 2023 ad campaign after paperwork on a child porn Supreme Court ruling was found in one of the photographs. CNBC Global Markets reporter Seema Modi joins us now. Seema, it's good to see you. Balenciaga mm -hmm. says it didn't authorize the props that were used there. So what is the production company saying? Yes, and that's a silver lining of the pandemic. I think people kind of totally. rebalance their work and life, right? It's all There's about, no about it. I, as Seema, it's so good to see you. CNBC Seema Modi, thank you so very much. It's absolutely incredible to watch, Jacob. All right, we turn now to the largest wave of protests to hit China in decades, and it is not letting up. Thousands of demonstrators are demanding more freedom and to end the harsh COVID lockdowns. NBC News foreign correspondent Janice Mackey Freyer shows us how this adds even more tension to the rocky relationship between China and the U.S. And that was Janice Mackey Freyer, our NBC News foreign correspondent. Welcome back this Tuesday. I'm Vicki Wynn. I'm Jacob Soberoff making news right now. The five police officers. In well, there is a new crisis at the southern border. Mexican authorities and hundreds of Venezuelan migrants are clashing over the migrants makeshift camps. NBC News correspondent Valerie Castro shows us how families are left in limbo.